Here we are again, masked up, I'm afraid, but the show must go on, Kate. That's right. So here <laughs> we are, Kate's exhibition, absolutely beautiful, whole interior world on my walls. So exactly. let's start, let's go around the gallery, one by one, if we have time, if time allows, George will give us a little message if it's uh, getting a little bit too, um, too tight, long. <laughs> but we'll do a little bit about each painting. Sure. This one, absolutely stunning, Kate. I have to say this is my favourite of the exhibition. I absolutely love this one. I love what I've done with the colours and the patterns again, and I just love the scale of it too. The scale's lovely. I particularly love the combination of colour and patterns. Yes. The, you know, dark green patterning mixed up next to this orangey pink. It's just yes. so... I love that too, but I also love how it's an evening view, so a different type of view out a window for me, mm -hmm. which I think I'm going to explore a bit more because right. I just love that evening feel. Big and beautiful. Now we're going to move to this way, I think, and these are probably two of my favourites in the exhibition. That one on the right was snapped up incredibly quickly, um, and just the idea of sitting at the table, looking outside to the, out, again, you know, as we were talking in our conversation about that exterior interior view is fabulous. And of course this one, simply stunning. Well these, I did a whole run of paintings this time from my, um, I have two studios at home, I'm a bit lucky. Wow. <laughs> I normally have a studio for my uh, children's classes and because of COVID I've turned it into my second studio. Wow. And I set up a beautiful big still life and I just went, bonkers and painted away in there. It's so just it's given me an idea. Maybe next time we should do a studio visit for our interview. That's and that fabulous would be, idea. I think I'll so. I'll have to clean my <laughs> studio up. <laughs> <laughs> we like a messy studio. <laughs> We've got two little ones here. Rather than hang them, I've just had, I'll move things around a bit as things sell. As you can see, things are selling. Yeah. Um, but these two are gorgeous. I love, I love the colours, the softness. Well, no these, space. these again, this is... Um, my parents' place, um, and I've obviously had a little play with patterns and things there. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really heavily into eucalyptus at the moment, and gum nuts, and all Australian floral. So that's what that one's about. And this one's actually my auntie and uncle's place in the late afternoon with the sun coming in, which in their back room is just gorgeous. Beautiful. That's the other thing I love about your paintings. There's so much history, and, and uh, not so much history, but just you know, current. You know, well, I, home life. I just paint my life and because I've got two young kids my life is all in my house my parents house well my tell life. us about this because this. this and this would be maybe if you can get that happening there you don't see that say on a post online or on an Instagram yeah. post it's really beautiful there's a lot a lot going on in this painting I absolutely love this painting and I enjoy painting on this scale too which I haven't done for years and years and years, not since art school. And this is a painting of a family friend's house that I visited a lot as a child. I've painted it many times. I've had it in your exhibition many mm. times. Mm. And she, they've got a beautiful property down in Goulburn, and I just love it. So I just continually paint it. That's beautiful. <laughs> and those flowers are just stunning. It's just a draw card, you know, gets you into. I'm really also interested, as you can probably tell at the moment, in evening and afternoon light sweeping mm. into a room. Yeah. I think it's very I think I wrote about that, that in a little essay you I did. wrote on <laughs> your website. You did, you did. So um, um, that's always it's always lovely looking right deeply at some of the paintings. So this one again is my auntie and uncle's place, same house as the one down here, but looking the other way out the window with some raspberries and some gorgeous flowers again, Australian flowers. And this one is my parents. This is one of my favourites. Um, it's um, it's funny. This painting is just one of those paintings that I just painted and it just worked from the start. Um, the colour, the depth of colour is just to die for. Now listen, everybody. Forty by forties are gone. Yes. But you have got some more, which uh -huh. you will be finishing off. So those people that have written to me wanting to buy one of these. 40 by 40s, and there's been quite a few. Yep. They are all gone, but Kate has. I have another more. mini series coming. Okay, so let's <laughs> they'll be, they'll ask me about it. <laughs> so that's another 40 by 40 little one from my parents' place again. And I spoke about this one in the interview, but that's a friend's house in Randwick. Um, 
And again, I just absolutely love that whole domestic scene, looking out, typical Australian feel to it. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky that we have all of this kind of thing available. Colour, colour, colour. Yep, I absolutely love the colour in this one. That's why I painted it. I painted it, I thought about the colour first when I painted this one. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously my patterns and <laughs> are coming <laughs> into it as well. Now these ones, so a lot of the, what these works are just so it's a size wise, and I'm putting my hand there so you can uh -huh. see the size, they're 60 by 60, so they're a really nice, they're nice a, comfortable size. Aren't they? I yeah. love painting 60 by 60s, mm. I think it's something about, I'm not sure why I love it so much, but also it's really easy for people to have these in mm. their homes, because mm. there's space, and it's, that's why I like painting nice and bright and cheery. This is again from my bottom studio, same kind of setup with the light coming in. Mm -hmm. We haven't been talking about names of these paintings because I can't remember and neither, neither can you. And I've got <laughs> to print up the catalogue and with no one here, they tend to take a different course of action. I mean, we're really working under extenuating circumstances sure at the moment. Are. Doing this in masks. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Let's move over to this side. So this again is just my um, playing with pattern and rugs. This is a little bit of a um, few different things together. It's a friend of mine rug that I absolutely love. He bought it in Morocco and I'm so mm. jealous. I love it. And then my parents' view and a table, just things that I love all put together really. Two little baby ones. They're the only two small ones in the exhibition. So for those people that do um, like small, Kate doesn't paint much small, do you? No. <laughs> These remind me a lot of the work I did for the, um, oh, what was that recent show that I was a part of? For Studio A, I've forgotten the name of it. Incognito. That's right, Incognito, thank you very much. Um, and I painted four of the, four paintings for that show. I bet they went quickly. These, they, mm. they did apparently, I've mm -hmm. heard from all of the buyers, which is lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah. But um, these were sort of part of that, so mm -hmm. that, they're an extension, they're both my parents' place, this is my parents' mantelpiece, which I paint endlessly so <laughs> and this one's just a tiny bit crooked already sold but uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> um this is i just absolutely love that view i mean that i do too down to the floor mm. glass mm. doorway there i just thought was magic so that's why i decided to paint that painting i'll get you to stand in the front there kate so people these are all sure. 60 by 60 for anyone so this is all this is actually in my top studio looking down from my top studio I set another still life up. This is interesting because this is my top studio and this is my bottom studio. Oh, wow. Together. Um, so that's more of my patterns, more of my, and these these bowls and things, they were given to my parents for their wedding anniversary all these oh, many, beautiful. many years ago. Wow. And um, for their wedding, sorry, for their yeah, wedding. Yeah. And I now have all those kinds of things. So that's oh, yeah, lovely. And this one is a friend of mine's house, and she's got a gorgeous Indian table. And um, yeah, more, it, it, more it, although more. this is kangaroo paw, it it's got an oriental feel, hasn't it? Yes, that? it does. I think it's because of what, and there, and that's her painting behind there. Yeah, so yeah, nice. I love the colours in that one. This is again from my top studio. Look at the damn door. This one. I, um, I'm really. I think I'm really into it at the moment, setting up a really gorgeous still life with mm. lots of important, nice, mm. lovely pattern things mm. and playing with it. It is beautiful. Is that coffee or wine? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on time of day. <laughs> um, and this next one is another one of my favourites. This by one is I absolutely love it. This, yeah, now this is actually sold, which is fabulous. It was um, one of the first ones to sell. Which it's is fabulous and it's sold, but I'm just kind of sad that it's. Me too, I love it. me too, because this one, but the good thing is it's actually local, it's, it's going to oh. build it, so it's not going oh, very far, good. but really it just has everything in it that I love about the still life. Well, that's exactly how I approached it. I have to say, I, I put in everything that I love too, and I'm really into all of these Australian um, colours, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is again the house down in Melbourne, and they have a gorgeous old-fashioned um, split door, mm -hmm. so the top of the door's open. Mm -hmm. gorgeous really, and there's this, this combination of colours that you would not normally 
see on in someone's painting. This is why when we were talking before about composition. Yeah. How, you know, do you set it up? Do you just walk into someone's house and go, oh, that's wonderful? Because I know when you visited my house once, yeah. the first thing you did was took your camera out and bang, 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 bang. I did, I did. So it's, um, it's interesting, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I, it's an interesting question because I guess I've never really thought that deeply about it. I think I just... I think I see a composition of actual physical things and then maybe my mind adds in the patterns and the colours. I'm not sure. Or maybe but it I is the creative content in a painting. There's loads of still lives out there. If you yeah. go onto Instagram, every second Everyone, painting that comes through and, is and still interiors. live. And interiors, they're very, very popular very, at the moment. Very, very, but there's something that sets you off apart, which is probably why they all sell. Yes. <laughs> um, but nice to hear. And it's another gorgeous one from my bottom studio. Um, and I, I'm also heavily into... Um, patterns on patterns of almost the same colour as well, I think that... Which is really interesting that you mention that because if, George, you might be able to get in close to see this, but you won't see this on a photo that we post and put online. You may not even yeah. see it in your catalogue if you, you have your catalogue because it's the patterning in the dark spaces that really don't show up very well in yeah. the camera shot until you see it on the wall and then you see the texture and the and pattern coming through. And that's why I think it's so nice. Mm. And this one, another favourite. Yep, this is another one that I um, I had played around with this painting for a long time and then I just suddenly stopped and thought, yep, that's it, it's finished. But it took quite a while to come to that point and I absolutely love it now. And I, It's become all about the colour really, isn't it? And the dis distribution of patterns. It's certain catalogue of interest. Oh, okay. and, it's, and it's sold and it's just really something that is just out there we, we've all got a table a scene a table has a friend with yeah. a table like this and we have these patterns and, and I, I like the way between the, the table and the rug yes, it's just sort beautiful. of almost the same but not really kind of thing beautiful. so and look at all the, the transition of color through yeah just everything about that thing and this is, format as yes. you notice I always I don't often do landscape no I, I don't I do portraits. I really like that format. Mm, that's, that's gorgeous. And didn't last long. No. <laughs> this one here, honestly, I think just about everyone has that has wanted to buy a painting has said that was their first choice. Isn't that funny? And some people would have bought two. Yes. This one included in, in the other choice. It is absolutely everything people, people like watch. about an Australian interior. You've well, got it's water, funny because fruit trees out yeah. the back. Lemons. Everyone Everyone has got a lemon tree at home. <laughs> you know, we're all you know, totally in our with lemons. It's just divine. I think also for me personally, this is such a this is my view from my well, sort of from my bed, my bedroom view. So mm -hmm. it's kind of it's I feel very attached to this painting as well. So it's oh, interesting. So this is from your house, this one. Yep, mm. that one, which is unusual because I don't normally. But yeah, this is this is my bedroom. Something about this bottle too, though. That's it's yeah special. Yeah. This and one is another gorgeous piece. Yes, absolutely. I have to say, I'm very happy with this one as well. Um, yeah, this one was painted again. My setup still lamp of my um, upstairs studio, but it's interesting. This one, I decided not to have the out. The yes, look, yes. And have a pattern there instead, and I really think it works so well. I do too. That's uh, uh, just the combination of dark and light. It's just, just right. Now this is was my favourite. I actually had considered maybe keeping this one for <laughs> myself, but <laughs> actually it just sold like, before I even had a chance to think of why I couldn't sell it to someone else. But it's. Um, I think this is a particularly just successful. Adore the dark. It's the dark, dark. I think it's the like contrast, it. isn't it? It's the dark with this yes. amazing punch yes. of light. And it's the composition because it's all about linking the darks and the lights together, really. Okay. We're done. And I think we've done wow. it in the time. Thank you, everyone. Exhibition runs till the end of the month. Contact me if you want one of the new 40 by 40s. I'll send you some pickies. Thank you, Kate. Thank you so much. Next again, time we're going to do it without masks. One day we'll have people here. <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank you.